G'day. Welcome back. We've got another experiment on the boil at the moment. My Ramsey preamp is on a end of a 5 metre fiberglass pole powered by a 9 volt battery. I've got some 75 ohm coax coming down and running directly into the back of the R1000 receiver. What we're doing today is comparing this little tiny chunk of electronics with a very minute wire as an antenna against my larger, more elevated long wire antenna, which I'll show you now. And this wire is just running from the shed up into the neighbour's tree. It's actually encroaching on my side of the fence, so I think, you know, fair game. That's actually working quite well. Just quickly show you the mounting arrangement we're using for this fiberglass pole. It's actually been borrowed from a, a spotlight configuration. Another purchase from the recycling centre actually. But anyway, on with testing. This is using the preamp antenna. This is a weather report for the Tongan region. Here's a noise pickup and back to the amp antenna. Clearly a difference. Very rough to high seas, a high easterly damaging swell. Back to the long wire antenna again and we'll disconnect it. Long wire antenna. Picking up other interference. Unfortunately for me, on top of my shed I've got a satellite dish for pay TV, so that is not exactly helpful. Back to the long wire again. And back to the amped antenna. Much clearer. Let's find another example. Gusting to 17 knots. Derby, wind north northwest at 14 knots. Gusting to 16 knots. Rolly Shoals, wind west southwest at 10. Gusting to 12 knots. Broom, wind west at 11 knots. Gusting to 14 knots. Mandora, wind west northwest at 11 knots. Gusting to 18 knots. Badao Island, wind west at 17 knots. Gusting to 19 knots. Port Hedland, wind west northwest at 14 knots. Gusting to 17 knots. Lejonda Island, wind west at 18 knots. Gusting to 21. Issued at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sunday, the 3rd of January, 2016.
there seems to be a bit of contention on the internet regarding the circuit design with people claiming that it works very little or not at all. As you've seen from the earlier examples in this video, it does work and works quite well. There isn't a huge degree of difficulty in building this kit, but there is a surface mount resistor on the underside of the circuit board, which could give a little bit of trouble, I suppose. Anyway, weather's changed. That's the end of this experimenting for today anyway.